I wanted to talk about dating fatigue that could come from excessive filtering. So excessive filtering, when you're talking to, you know, we have to go through, basic and premium members would know this, when you have to obviously look through a profile, talk to someone, might work out, might not work out, uh, to talk to the next person again, might work out, might not work out. So it gets really tiring, I could lead to dating fatigue. So what you notice is that the beginning, the first person you talk to, there's that hype, you're excited, and then you're getting to know them in, uh, it's, it flows in a natural way, so it's not like an interview. You're like, you know, how was your day? The person is like, oh, there's a lot of traffic. They're like, oh, traffic, oh, where do you live? And then the person says where they live, and they're like, oh, I understand why there's traffic. You know, it kind of flows. But then at the second person, you might do the same thing. The third person starts getting a little bit tiring. And at the fourth person, you find like the marginal utility just drops. So at that point, it almost becomes like an interview because you're like, where do you live? Where do you work? What school did you go to? You start asking those questions, not in the natural way again, because you've been doing it. So, you know, it's repetitive, so it gets tiring. So um, it's just like a teacher, you know, trying to score, um, give scores and stuff. And you're going through each one, the first person zone, second, third. By the time you get to like the 10th student, you get a little bit tired. But you might start skimming through, you know, if you had to read through the papers, you might start skimming through. So what helps in situations like this is for you to take a break. Um, it's very important to take a break and trying to find that sweet number where you should take a break. So what I would advise is that if you're signed up for like a monthly kind of platform, take a break the first, you know, the first month go on it and then take a break for a month and then come back again. You know, you can take a break for weeks, you know, but it's important to take that break so that you approach each person with the same zeal because that fourth person that you give that tired approach to might be the person that makes the most sense and the first person might have you know contributed to the frustration and the tiredness you know from dating so always important to take a break and that's why if the vip section is um restricted to four or you know sometimes an extra so five and because we feel like that's a sweet number you know by the time you get to the fourth person, fifth person, you can still pull it through. But six is like overkill. Basically, you know, dating fatigue comes from a lot of things or could also come from the excessive filtering process. So it makes sense to always take a break after maybe four or five maximum.